All right, good morning. We're in the track, got some soccer players doing their thing out here. So we're gonna have an acceleration focused day. I've got some sprints followed by some sled work. Um, they're gonna be separate pieces, so I'm not gonna do any complexes. Um, being that it's a power block, separate those complexes into individual pieces, focus on more quality work versus trying to just do work capacity stuff. So uh, I got two sets of accelerations with no sled, and those are gonna be done at uh, 30, 40, and 50 meters. And then I've got two sets of sled accelerations at 20 meters.
right, so that's the majority of the warm-up. I'm gonna do a couple build-ups real quick, just 30 meters um, with the build-up. I start from a two-point stance, just kind of take off with hard, powerful steps, slowly build up, and the last like five to 10 meters, maybe getting close to top speed, and then we're gonna start off with the accelerations. Accelerations are gonna be two sets. We're gonna go 30, 40, 50, and then 30, 40, 50. After those 30, 40, 50s, we're gonna do two sets of four on 20 meter sled acceleration. Okay, that was the accelerations. Two sets, 30, 40, 50. It took two minutes rest in between each rep and then it took about four minutes rest or so in between the sets. Uh, I'm gonna take about eight minutes or so rest right now, maybe 10. And then I'm gonna start with the sled sprints, two sets of four, keeping the same rest ratio. So two minutes between the reps, four minutes between the sets. For the sled today, I'm only gonna use 20% body weight. So I weigh 100 kilos. That means I'm putting 20 kilos on the sled. I believe that you always should dictate the sled weight based on your body weight and the distance that you're going. So for example, if I was doing really short uh, accelerations, like 10 meters, I might go up to about 30%. If I was doing uh, longer accelerations, like 40 meter sleds, then I might be down to 10% body weight. But uh, for this mid range, 20% is usually a good enough weight for me that I can still move intently fast and be able to pull the sled and get that wanted resistance from it versus having a too heavy of a sled will make you create bad mechanics and bad habits. Too light of a sled is not going to give you the resistance that you're looking for. So that 20% range at 20 meters is usually uh, a safe bet for most people. Um, so I'm going to knock these out. Again, I'm going to take a little bit of a rest right now and then start off with the 20 meter sled excels. in the weight room now uh, this morning sessions went great being in spikes felt good my calves are probably gonna be a little bit more tight every time I use spikes for the first day I usually get a little bit more soreness in my feet and in the calves just because the way spikes are designed they're not you know the most comfortable things to be sprinting in even though they are the best shoe when it comes to creating more speed so after the sprint workout, I just did some additional foam rolling on the calves and the lower leg and just tried to break everything up and loosen it up because I know it's going to be sore and tight tomorrow. Uh, but now we're in the weight room. Normally Wednesdays we have the med ball workout. So we go through multiple series with that and then we have ab wheel rollouts and barbell twists. Uh, today we're switching it up though, um, exactly, actually for this entire block we're going to switch it up. Uh, Wednesdays we're going to be doing some snatch work instead of the med ball circuit and then we're going to continue on with a little bit of accessory and ab wheels and barbell rotations for today. So I've got eight sets of snatches and overhead squats at 70% which for me is going to be 105 kilos. After the eight sets of snatches I have four sets of back raises, four sets of ab wheel rollouts and then four sets of barbell twist. Going to start off with the snatches first and then we're going to move on. So the focus for the snatches, I'm gonna try to keep every snatch a power snatch, but I'm gonna catch it as low as I can in that power position. So basically at 91 degrees is kind of the thought process here. Um, and then I'm gonna do my overhead squat. The reason I wanna try to catch it low is I have a tendency when I do power snatches to allow my feet to go too wide. So what I'm gonna practice when doing these is 
trying to receive that bar overhead in the power position in the same place that it would if I was doing a snatch. So the idea would be to try to work on footwork as well as doing uh, the overhead squat at the end. So if I can receive the bar overhead in that position, wherever my feet are at, I'm gonna do the overhead squat in that same place. All right, that's the session for today. Great training sessions. This morning sled workout was great. Afternoon in the weight room felt really good. Power snatches, overhead squats, all the accessory work. Really liked it. Um, other than that, we're done for the day. So we'll be back tomorrow with the med ball circuit and the recovery day. Uh, and other than that, thank you for the support. Thanks for watching the videos. Thanks for dropping comments. Thanks for liking it. And we'll see you tomorrow.